Hello everyone, my name is Uthurus and welcome back to Medieval Engineers, where we are building the Temple of Time from Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and it is going okay. Just okay, because there's there's things that I want to do that I still just can't. I can't put these inside of the roof to give me buttresses, I can't um, put a wall inside or not a wall, but a pillar, like, in here at all to do anything. It, it's not letting me, so... Hey, you know, it's what, what we're dealing with at the moment. But, other than that, it's going fairly well. It may not look uh, quite exactly right, but again, we do have a limited block count. We don't have, you know, everything that I would like to see. And, um, yeah, so we're just, we're just working on the outer shell as always. I plan on probably finishing this build up this episode, which will be pretty cool. I hope just trying to put as much in it as possible to drag out this side because there needs to be the actual reflecting pool. I can't bump that against here at all, which is, oh, maybe, what happens if I just get rid of it? There we go. Anyway, so the update this week didn't really fix any of our issues. Kind of a shame. I really hope they address them at some point but right now this is pretty much the best we got in terms of what we're doing so this episode we are going to be building the actual area where the master sword sits and the wall is separating that which i'll be actually building now and it's and it's going to be a double door I believe just like the main door except for it's going to be squared off unlike the main door the main door is actually an arch this is not it's actually a square door just like so Let me see if I'm getting the scale right. And again, we're doing this medieval engineer scale, so things aren't going to match fully. You know, the altar where you place the three keys isn't going to match fully. Um, the feel of the actual structure is not quite going to match either. I'm tempted to just seal this area completely off. Because you couldn't get in the bell towers in the game or anything, so there's really no point in them uh, being accessible. And it's not like I can climb it anyways. There we go. And we need to, I think, carve out a symbol of some kind just within the doorway. It's like this little... I guess Triforce symbol. I mean, everyone's pretty much rolled over it a million times, I'm sure, while getting inside the Temple of Time. And it's gonna just take up this nice little four by four area, like so. And then we'll just give it some some corners. Boop. 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 Now I'm having to do this in wood, of course, because we don't have any stone detail like we do with timber. And I think I want this to be too tall, so I'm just going to drag across a solid slab, as I think is the best way. What are you doing? Get out of here. Gonna throw a boulder at him. There we go. Out of my temple of time, man. And 
where's my correct bar? There it is. Now we can just continue where we just left off before we were rudely interrupted by a barbarian. How dare they, uncivilized people. And we'll just raise that up. Now I'm going to fill it in so it's just square and then put some type of Triforce kind of symbol in it. Uh, those are off center. There we go. I need some light, so I'm gonna try and mess with the angle of the sun here a little bit. Elevation, intensity. This is just so you guys can see as well, because it does get pretty dark in these areas. You know what, I don't like that. Let's... Let's change it. Cause I, just, I just want the kind of colors light side facing up for the actual Triforce. I think that's a better way to do it. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And now I can make the Triforce, which is pointing towards that, I believe. So let's start with leaving, of course, a spot. Uh, this is an odd, which makes this actually a little, little bit more difficult. You know, it's still manageable, I believe. Thing like that does that look right I mean it's the best I get really with square blocks and it being an even count rather than an odd count uh, it does fit in which case at this point we can just seal it up how it looks like just coming in here so yeah you just roll across this we need the little altar thing now which I wish I could make it out of stone but I can't let's, let's definitely make sure this is odd so we'll bring it out five straight across Make a little lip for it. There we go. And let's see if this fit here. It can. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more fancy. Something like that. No, that doesn't look right. It's better to just do this. Okay. That's that's okay. Put a little bit of a railing. I can't do a railing. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay. 
That's fine. That's that's okay. I can't complain too much. By the way, we are building with structural integrity on. By the way, so I should probably save thinking about it. Because if things collapse, well, that's no good. I can't put pillars here because it's not letting me. Oh wait. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want pillars there anyways, you know. I just only needed to finish off doing that. Put this clear story in all the way. Put our final door as a window. So that left the wall. Make the kind of really flush buttress that is on this thing. They don't have flying buttresses. This is just uh, normal buttressing. Just making the wall thicker in areas to support extra weight. Let's see, does the column version work? Where's my column? They get rid of my column? They did. And they didn't tell anyone. That, that wasn't in the patch notes as far as I knew. Oh well. I'll just uh, have to make do, I guess. I mean, I can really only just get down so far. But it should help with the structural integrity nonetheless. Hopefully just gonna look weird right there for no reason it's weird I can fit a wall here but just in this area not there because you know there's no room apparently I'm gonna remove this because it looks bad Now, the question is, do I actually want to make a sliding door? I can. I've done it before. Hmm. Oh no. Now, I don't remember if there's a staircase or anything that goes down into the main chamber here, but I would think so, really. Let's check out our double kind of like round wall here. Because this is what's going back here. Which is a pillar. Even though the, the way they have the building squared off, there's a lot of empty area. So let's just pop this up. Actually, no. Oh boy! Um, let's, let's, let's just clean that up. I can't clean that up. Why can't I? 10? No. This? No, I don't know what that is at all. Or that. Okay. Let's, uh... Come on. Get out of the way. This is why I don't build with structural integrity on, because problems, problems arise. And the debris is in the way. Tell you what, we're already like 14 minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and actually finish the building just so you guys get to see it finished in this episode. And then of course I'll take any suggestion for the next thing and we'll be back okay so here we are to the pseudo finished temple of time that is ruined um i don't know how to say this but medieval engineers right now in my opinion has gotten so bad that i'm not going to play it uh and i'm sorry but i can't do it the building mechanics 
are absolutely ruined and trash at the moment. A lot of features are missing that I used to have that I used to really enjoy. I don't I don't know what they were thinking. It's like no one tested this at Keen. And so I'm going to I'm going to go on another rant on this episode which is wonderful. Basically, I can't build anything that I want to build. So, for example, the roofing here. I can't put corner roofing there because for some reason the new algorithm set basically is just like no you can't do that so if i try and put this little piece here i'm holding alt you know i've tried deleted deleting sections of you know this lower piece but that doesn't work and if i delete the lower piece i can put the upper piece in but if i try and put the lower piece back it doesn't go in i can't work with like that you know like none of this is working at all and you guys get to see me a little angry because i've played Oh, 400 some hours of this game. Excited for it. You know, every update, excited, supportive. But right now, I can't support this game. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone in its current state. I can't put pillars connecting this top because it has a flat top. You know, I can't put a pillar here. I can't put a pillar there or anywhere here. Great. I can't connect the roof to the actual main tower structure in any way because it's basically saying a roof can't go there. You know? I turned it off structural integrity while putting on the roof because, well, I didn't want it to break on me. And I can't even check, like I'm pressing in right now, I can't check structural integrity. Um, so I don't know if this thing could get turned back on. I, I just don't know. You know? Um... I mean, I suppose I could technically add the the pillar, you know? It has like a, a lightning rod type thing on it. This, I, I wanted this to be way cooler. I really did. You know, I was excited to copy something from a game that I loved, but I can't do it. And it's, it's just not making me happy. Inside, it looks okay. You know, it's not nearly as bright as I hoped it would be. But, uh, you know, if while I'm complaining, I guess I can complain about the the eye adjustments. My When my eyes adjust to the inside, the inside gets darker. Why? It's lighter when I'm outside. Like, I can see more detail now than within an inside. Why? Why is that? I don't know. You know, I, wa I wanted to put a whole bunch of detail on here. I wanted to finish my pillars. I, I wanted this to look really good and clean so you guys could enjoy it and I would upload it and people could look at it, you know? But I can't do that. I can't do that today. And um, I'm just gonna end this episode here. I'm sorry that I can't go on with Medieval Engineers. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to either reverse the change or at least fix it so I can do what I want to do. But currently, I'm not happy. Um, this is not the direction I wanted the game to go in at all. You know, if they if they were concerned about people not being able to build blocks in survival mode, then don't ruin creative mode or options for cool looking structures to try and fix that. That's not how you do it. You, They should be able to come up with a way to target blocks that you're looking at to build them, you know? Something. I, you know, a, a better solution could have been, or at least a temporary solution in survival mode, every block that it's touching is considered the same thing and it just combines the resource pool. And so I could hit the foundation and it would build the structure. That's, that's a solution. I guess it's better than this solution anyways I'm done ranting about this um, yeah if you guys have anything else you want me to play other than medieval engineers because right now this is this is on hiatus going forward I don't know when I'll come back to it so thank you guys so much for watching as always if you guys want to check out my other videos go ahead and do that if you want to check out my cool builds before this stuff is happening go ahead and do that you guys can see what it used to be like if you're new.
and I haven't seen, uh, you know, Bridgehaven or anything cool. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.